In the UK, we're lucky to not really be affected directly by tropical storms. So let's look at the distribution of these tropical storms, along with how they're formed. Tropical storms are enormous and, as the name suggests, they develop in tropical areas. They have different names according to where they develop, so near the USA and Caribbean they are hurricanes, Australia and Southeast Asia they are cyclones, and around the Philippines and Japan they are typhoons. Tropical storms form over warm ocean water, usually at the end of summer and start of autumn, when the water is at its warmest and where the heat from the sun makes the air unstable, causing it to rise. They usually form between 5 and 15 degrees north and south of the equator, where the Earth's Coriolis effect will generate the spin in the storm. Scientists believe that tropical storms are formed in the following way. Heat from the sun causes a strong upward movement of air at these low latitudes. The rising moist warm air will cool as it rises and the moisture will start to condense, forming clouds. Condensation releases more heat that helps to draw more moisture from the warm ocean below and this will create thunderstorms. Several thunderstorms may join together, creating a giant rotating storm, and when the wind speeds exceed 74 miles per hour, the storm can be categorised as a tropical storm. The storm will continue to grow as it travels across warm water and forms an eye at its centre. This is where the air will descend, creating calm conditions, whereas the eye wall contains the strongest winds and heaviest rainfall. The storm will start to dissipate as it crosses cooler water or on reaching land, where the energy supply of warm water disappears. Understanding the conditions that make these storms and how they're structured will help people to prepare for them if and when they arrive.